Have you ever toasted Ghana jollof or a Ghanaian watch before? Are you serious? So <laughs> Ghana toast watch. He's never bread. going to get it. He is never going to get this question. Wait, Ghanaian. You see, he, so you guys toast jollof rice too? He no wonder never, Nigeria will be better. He will never get this question. <laughs> <laughs>
I actually love Ghana. This is a place I want to have my, my, my second house. But oh, that would be future. awesome, Tali. Yes. He says he wants to build yes. his house if in the, Ghana. If, if, if the land, before we make it, if the land is, is finished, we'll buy a building. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that takes me to um, some interviews that I watched. I think Mr. Easy, um, Whiskey, Banner Boy, all of them. When you ask them where they want to retire, like, or where they come to relax, yeah. they will tell you Ghana. And I am a Ghanaian, and Charlie, sometimes I don't even get it. What at all is in this country? Like, I you need, just... you, need to, you need to go to Nigeria, then you'll see, you'll see why. <laughs> because if you go to Nigeria, it's more like the same vibes. Like, if you go to the, the club, like here, if you go to clubs here in Ghana, yes. the kind of vibe, the music vibe, like Afro beats, uh, high life, that is almost the same. You, you hardly go to the, a club in Nigeria and hear them play hip hop. No, 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 no. It must be Afro beat, I Afro like, beat, you understand? So it's more like that is when you come to the music side and the yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. You see the relationship. It's more like, man, we share the same, the same grandfather or something. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, I think um, as Africans, mm -hmm. um, things that belong to us, although when it comes to R&B, hip hop, and um, like, especially this, like, uh, like these two genres, or even reggae, yeah. um, it's blacks. It's owned by blacks, and I'm happy about that. Uh, Ghana plays Afrobeat, everything, like everything. It's very good, but you, you, you loving what you, like you have is also a, like a very good thing. Like it's not a awesome. bad thing at all. I just pray in nearest future, if we can embrace our movies the way we embrace our music, it's, it will be awesome. Because right now we watch up more of Hollywood movies now. Yes, it's true. Just like in you know, a few years ago, we listened to more like, more of hip hop. And pop music then, but now it's full Afrobeat, full high life. But that's very good. So now it's, it's it, like go to um, Nigerian cinemas now. People prefer to go watch Hollywood movies. More like what we do those days. We, we prefer yes. watch. We prefer listening to hip hop, which is now our music. It's, it's but true. if we can successfully transit into watching our own movies, as much as we like watching our, or listening to our own music, it will be better. It's, it's, it's and I'm sure good. it's going to happen. Oh, surely, surely, surely. Gradually, we'll, like, we'll get there. Yes. We'll get there. And I think you people are doing great. Like, like, like great. Like, Nigerians are doing great. When it comes to our music, our movies, yeah. Charlie, they are taking Africa to, a, like, a different level. Yeah. yeah, so I really, really like that. So, how long have you been in, in like, in Ghana, like, since you came? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Yeah, I have two more weeks to go. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> then, then like, it's a, like, it's a good thing. Like, us. My next question is, how has been the experience? Like basically, how has been the experience in Ghana? The truth is that if the experience is not awesome, I would have gone back since. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm he having, loves Ghana. Yes, have I, you said, heard I want to have my second house here. Yeah, yeah. the yes, meaning man. he loves Ghana so yes, much. I love Ghana. I love the vibe, the constant lights. <laughs> the constant light. <laughs> This is one thing Nigerians talk about a lot. If you are someone who has been on YouTube for a very long time, yeah, they talk about light, 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 light. It's just light. about being real. Oh, Charlie. Okay, so, okay, so, where in Ghana have you have you been to? Uh, -huh. uh Greater Accra region, which is uh -huh. where I reside. Okay. I've been in Greater Accra region. I've been to East Legon. Okay. I've been to Cantonment. Okay. I've been to Laboni. Is it Laboni or Laboni? It's Laboni. Laboni. Laboni, yes. Okay. I've been Laboni. to Laboni. <laughs> I've been to Airport Residential. These are rich, 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 rich places. Though. Yes. I it's not that is the real Africa. No, people when you talk about Africa, they talk about they think Africa are poor. Yes. So true. I like being to the real part of Africa so that people see me around there will know that Africa actually have such beautiful, beautiful world. neighborhoods. But that's that very things. good. So I, I like good. touching down to all those ones so that we can that's change very, the very narrative. Good. Like very good. Yep. So that's and very also good. I've been to Cape Coast. Okay. I'm still exploring Cape Coast as okay. I watch as of today. So maybe mm, I think. But actually, um, like before we continue, he's a YouTuber, so you can check his channel out. Yes. He's a YouTuber and he has been putting out so like so much content and not just so much content, but quality content too so we will definitely put his uh, link in the like description box so that you just um, follow and watch his videos yes guys yeah you need to and subscribe and support support the Nigerian man not like you don't lose <laughs> anything by supporting so support us 
Get me to the 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, don't forget. Guys. Don't forget that one. <laughs> Let's make it a pray, our April point of uh, prayer point. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so what are some of the differences between Ghana and Nigeria? As you have at least experienced Ghana a bit, what are some of the experience, uh, like the differences? Okay, I'll just tell you two. Okay. I think I've said this before. One is food. Uh, and secondly, is, uh, customer service. I'm saying first, I always say customer side because okay. uh, it's kind of a big deal in Ghana. Yes. They are yet to know how to do business. Should I okay. say that? Or, uh, yes, they are yet to know how to do business. You understand? You know, in business, customers are so important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very and in Nigeria, there's, always, there's one popular saying in Nigeria that po customers are always right. Right, yes. But it's not, it's we, opposite. Like, we, we, like we even say that here, but it's, opposite, it's like yeah. the, you know, the Ghanaian attitude is different. You can go to someone, a, a lady, to buy something from her store. She may be doing something like sweeping the store when you yeah. come. She will tell you to go to the next store that she is sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually, like, let me give you. I'm a Ghanaian, so, like, sometimes um, these people, I know why, like, some of them do these things. Someone op has opened a shop. Ghanaians believe, some Ghanaians, let me use some Ghanaians. They believe that um, they have to pray at one. After opening the shop, they have to pray before any customer does what comes in. What are, what are you praying for? For what? For customers. For customers. And so what, why is chasing away customer you're praying to get? That, <laughs> Charlie, this is a, a very tough question. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Charlie, serious. Ah. But you know, Nigerians are like fast paced, like. Yeah. They do their things on the move, man. Yeah, and Ghanaians are like relaxed. Yeah, too calm, too comfortable. Yeah, too comfortable. That's like basically that's how, like like that's the difference. Yeah, yeah, that's the difference. Okay, so um, guys, how do, you, how do you hold this thing? If you know, kindly comment below. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay, so um, you know um, like for every traveler, yeah. security is one thing that um, every traveler looks out for. Sure. when traveling so um, since you came to Ghana or since you are in Ghana how has like the security system been like or the security that you've experienced in Ghana how is it like okay. um, I think Ghana has the 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 best security system in West Africa okay yes, so, hey, uh, Charlie, when, it this, comes, when it comes to security this thing that he's saying he's he's, he's actually making my head big but you no, uh, let's um, continue if you watch my interviews I'm, i like keeping it on real, real yeah, yeah. I don't have, so i think ghana has the best security system in west africa and like where i stay in my airbnb yes. sometimes i leave my door open to, uh, in the night i slept with my door open with full confidence that nothing is going to happen and nothing happens and even sometimes we... Then meaning Ghana is safe, oh. Yes. And I, I hardly... I'm in this country, but... It's, it's hardly for you to see some see people arguing or exchanging um, blow, fighting in the street, <laughs> all those things. Okay, like like that one, I agree. Yes. I agree. So that's you hear them story. talking very loudly to each other, but fighting, it doesn't like normally happen. It does happen, though, but not that often. Yeah, like not that often. I've, I've, I haven't seen the, any... Security-wise, to me, it has been perfect. Do I don't I don't indulge in things that doesn't that requires too many being too many care too careful about you. So that, what do I say? It's, so far, security system to me has been it's good. Okay, so um, my next question, this question here, is a very tricky question. I don't know whether he, he like he's going to get it. Bring it. But if you like, also all my subscribers, if you can also get this question, let me know in the comment section. Um. <laughs> Have you ever toasted Ghana Jollof or a Ghanaian Wache before? Are you serious? So, <laughs> Ghana toast Wache He's never going to get it. He's never going to get this question. Wait, Ghanaian. So, you guys toast Jollof rice too? He no wonder Nigeria will be better. He will never get this question. <laughs> <laughs> he will never get this question. I don't question. know the toast rice, so the toast Jollof rice. I thought it's only bread the toast. <laughs> <laughs> He's never going to get a question though. No. I want to ask again, please. If you understand this question, please comment at the please comment. Please comment. I'll read. I'll read. <laughs> and remember, 10,000 subs.
Yeah. Yeah, 10,000 subs. Don't forget. Ginger. Have, have you ever, ever toasted, since you came to Ghana, have you ever toasted any Ghana jollof or Ghanaian wache before? The only thing I toast is bread. <laughs> He's still not getting the question. No. He's, listen, you'll, you'll like, let me pause here and just help him a bit. You understand? Because... I can spend like thousand years here and he will still not get it. Oh. And Nigerians are saying they are the smartest guys. Oh Charlie. <clears throat> you like you <laughs> you will know. We are the smartest in, guys. Trick don't work on he's us. He's in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether no 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 no. This question eh, I have to skip it. Uh -huh. I have to skip it. Please do. I have to skip it. So <laughs> I will explain it to you later okay before like before we leave here I, I will explain this particular question to you so um my next question is what Ghanaian food have you tasted before Ghanaian food yes uh mache mache uh banku you know he's in his name <laughs> he has changed the name of wache guys... in, into his name no, you guys borrowed my name. My, my name is as old as 2000 do years you, old. Do you, like, do you know the time Wachik like, has been in existence? Well, just, one, just one century. <laughs> and how old are you? <laughs> no, my, that Wachik is my great, 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 it, grand, 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 great, 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 great. It's like father. five, six, seven, ten centuries ago, Wachik. Okay, the food. A legendary food. Oh, no wonder. He's, ah. he's still young. My name is as L old as 50 L centuries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, he's saying he's saying watch it. So meaning the question that I asked previously, that has he ever toasted or toasting any Ghanaian jollof or or Ghana watch it? He has given me the answer. That question, that question was that. Like that question, I was just asking whether he has ever. Toasted any girl in Ghana before, and you know, wache like the color of wache and the color of jollof. Ah. Wache is dark a bit. Ah. That's the melanin, and jollof is the fair girls. You understand? Ah. Exactly. So he never got the answer, ah. but he, like he has given me the answer in the next like question that I ask, and now ah. you know his preference or like his choice. Like what he, he likes. Guys, I don't discriminate. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I don't date. Right now you know what he likes, so don't worry. <laughs> I don't discriminate. I don't date. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um I think I don't have much questions to ask again. Um like basically like your you, like your advice to um uh, like what's the name? Anyone who wants to visit like visit Ghana and um also from Nigeria, from wherever, South Africa, um, um, like what's the name? From Nigeria, from South Africa, from anywhere, anywhere in the world, UK, America, everywhere. Just an advice to them. So, if you're from Nigeria, you're coming to Ghana. Uh, you wanted to come prepared, and if you have a good intention to come to Ghana, come. If you don't have a good intention, please don't come. Stay in Nigeria. So. Let's try to reduce the. They've been given bad names, bad names. Some yes. of them, some of them. They've been Most of those things are affecting the good names. ones. Charlie, yes. I know so many Nigerians who are doing what, working very hard. They have shops, Charlie. They are working like they are really, really, really working. But I think it's the few ones that come without any, any, like better mentality or like any better aim. So, they, like they are spoiling the name of Nigeria. I love my Nigerians. Please, stop what you are like, like you are doing. When you say stop. Nigerians, stop what you do. You look as if it's Nigerians. No, no, I'm, I'm so saying like the, the, the bad guys. The bad come to Ghana. Okay, okay, the bad Nigerians. Please, <laughs> I love my Nigerians. So please, don't spoil that name for us. Please, please. I hate people telling me, hey, Nigeria, go back to your country. Don't come and do scam, bro. I don't do scam. I have never done it before. So, don't because of and the truth is that people who are doing those things are not even up to hundred thousand. That is I, I can use hundred thousand people. You know, it's to like judge two hundred million people. You know, me that thing I understand because 
it's like you eating um let's say beans cooked beans or something and perhaps um like the person who cooked it did not do what uh, take out the stones that are in mm. the beans that much so as you are start like you start eating the beans Just and one. you and you bite one stone the whole food the whole food can you know that yes. is the problem you will not be careful eating exactly. the beans you will not be exactly. careful exactly. <laughs> please and if you are anywhere in the world the same thing applies to you yeah. you're coming together with good intention kudos but if you're not coming together with good intention this is a developing country and uh, as you can see it's fast developing so if you come with any negative stuff drop it before coming exactly. if not i can assure you that ghana has the strongest and the smartest security system so you might get you know you know what yeah and and as he said ghana is a very peaceful country yeah so if you are coming here please and please again please and please again don't bring any trouble here because we are very cool calm and collected people yes so i know anyone who has visited ghana knows this like if if you have visited Ghana before you like you like you know you know I shouldn't even say much so just be careful and one more thing if you're a Ghanaian you need to be smarter too stop judging people it's very, it's very uh, offensive that is, an, another, another, yeah, that is yeah, very yeah, offensive yeah, yeah, it's true. It's so true. sometimes true. if you're if you if you if you're kind of um if you're kind of if you're free yeah if you're not guilty yeah. you don't it, it, normally I don't get angry because I'm not guilty, but so yeah. to some extent, that labeling is kind of sometimes it's provoking. It's true. It's you know, true. so you don't know what will happen. Maybe you might have a bad day. Nothing will happen. Who knows what will happen when that thing happens? But yeah. most of the times, where someone tell you that, "Are you coming to Ghana? Hope you're not coming to this town." I say, I get most of those things in my, in my comment section. Imagine. So those things. So me, if you're free mind, if you're free hearted, if you don't know, if you know you're not guilty. Normally, I don't, I don't get offended. But yeah. just imagine if you have a mood swing. That's why he's telling this kind of thing. You will, you will. So like, like, if you have to be like smart, you, you will. have to be smarter if you're a Ghanaian. So don't, don't, don't judge innocent people because of bad people. Instead, you have to deal with them first and have your experience. If they are bad, you run. If you're not, if you're not bad, you have to. I know Ghanaians are kind of, uh, uh, they are kind of, uh, they are good people yeah. and they are welcoming too. Yeah, yeah. But there are, there are so many illiterate ones who doesn't understand the what we are trying to build, like the true, one, Af true. one African store we're trying to build, they don't understand it. I think they are, so we have to change the narrative. Don't judge any foreigner you see. Uh, that is true. That yeah, is true. negatively, don't judge them. Yeah. Don't judge them at yeah. all. So, so please, um, as we said from the beginning, get me to 10,000 subs, 10,000 yes. subscribers. Charlie, 10, do this for me. Just support. 10,000, 10, 10,000. 10, 10, just support 10, your brother. And the only way to do that, just a, trick, a, a trick can make a forest. So if you were watching and not getting 10,000, so the only way to do that, if you watch, like the video. When you like the video, like the video. it helps the YouTube algorithm to push it to other people to watch. Exactly. Yeah, so that's the idea. So like, please, the like the video. You can leave like a comment video. below. Like the video, please. Tell me why you guys toast to watch here and rub your love. <laughs> do you know that? This, maybe that's the reason why the love, Nigeria Jollof is far better than Ghana Jollof. See, see, Charlie, it's okay. 10,000 subs. <laughs>